The Property Management Module is a great way to display and manage rental properties. You can create professional looking listing pages and customize them as you see fit. This is an add-on feature, so contact Savato if you'd like more information on how you can add it to your site. Now once it has been activated, you'll find the module on your control panel menu bar, right down here. Now you see we already have a page here called Property Management. By the way, you can click here to create other pages, say for specific rental property types or locations. Unlike MLS listings that have specific property types, statuses and such, you have complete control over how rental listings are displayed and described. These settings can be adjusted up here in the properties area. You can create different types of rental properties. Apartment rentals and house rentals are available by default. However, you can add different types to suit your needs, like commercial property rentals, for instance. You also have the option of creating subtypes, say commercial property with an included residence. You can categorize listings by listing area and even create listing features for things like a swimming pool or maybe a shop. You also have two views available for your clients. There's the list view. This is usually used by default as it gives the opportunity to browse the possible listings. And you'll notice that this mimics the look of most real estate property search pages. Now you also have the search page option where you can use the parameters and the settings you selected earlier to create a form. And this is helpful if you have a long list of rentals as you can pull up a number of possibilities by filling out this information as opposed to wading through them in list form. It also offers a way to search by price. I think I'll go back here, however, and we'll reset this to list view. As in most of our modules, the introductory text of the page can be changed using edit page. Now, you'll notice for our purposes, I've kept the message simple and brief. However, you can put any information you'd like here. And some people even include a link to their rental applications here. The listings or search form will appear below these comments. And you can also change the name of the page here. Now, personally, I don't think property management as a page name will draw as much interest as, say, something like residential rentals. So let's change that. Of course, after you're done, you'll want to come down here and save your changes. And now we get to the meat of things. To add or change listings, click on Add Edit Listings. You can see we have just a couple of examples here, but over time you'll develop quite a list. So we've added a couple tools to help you locate specific listings on that list. You can select just one property type, or you can search by address. Obviously, if you have a new listing to add, you can just click here. This is a handy tool. Once a property has been rented, you can just click here to turn the listing off. And once it becomes available again, you can just click here to turn it back on. If a property goes off the rental market permanently, you can delete the listing altogether. To show you how to fill out the listing information, let's click on Edit for this listing. Now the listing types available are the options you set up earlier in the general properties. You can add a listing number here if you use them. And otherwise, these fields are pretty self-explanatory. All of this information will appear on the listing details when viewed on the website, so you'll want to keep your text here brief and descriptive. Now once you've filled all this out, you can scroll on down here. You'll see we've already added some images of the rental in question. A brief title, by the way, is important for a couple of reasons. Of course, it helps identify the picture, but perhaps more importantly, it gives you a link to click on to view the image in full size while working on it in the control panel. Otherwise, you're stuck. Obviously, quality photography will go a long way toward drawing interest on a rental listing. You'll also want to make sure it's the correct size. Oversized images take up disk space on the server, but can also slow down loading times on your website, and that's one of the major killers of website usage. If you think about it, how patient are you for a page to load? A good general rule of thumb is to make your images about 500 pixels wide and let the height take care of itself. By the way, we have a good tutorial in our library on resizing images if you need a little bit of help. To add images to the listing, we're going to click here. You have the opportunity to upload up to three images at a time. Another consideration is the file name of the image. Quite often, digital and smartphone cameras create convoluted file names for the image. Rename the file something simpler and, for that matter, easier to identify. Also, try to avoid special characters in the name, like hashtags. Let's add an image to this listing. We'll start by browsing for the image you'll want to use. And I've got a bedroom shot that isn't in the current gallery. 
And I've already resized this image, and you can tell I've renamed it something simple and identifiable. Once you've selected the image, you'll find there are two choices available for image type. You can have only one main image, as that's the one that's featured and the people see first. Since we already have one for this listing, we'll leave it at Photo Gallery. As I mentioned, it's important to add a title here, so I'll simply type in Guest Bedroom. The sort feature gives you the opportunity to reorder the images on your site. In most cases, they would load chronologically. If you want to use this feature to reorganize the images, I'd suggest using even or odd numbers so you can insert images in between without doing a lot of renumbering. You can type the description of the image here, and I think I'll just type upstairs guest bedroom. If you wanted to, you could add a second and third image while you're here. I think in this case I'm just going to scroll on down here and click on the update button. Now obviously it's a good idea to review your work to make sure you've got everything just the way you want it. The appropriate fields filled out and filled out correctly and that the images and description look good. And then you can scroll on down here and update the page. Once we've done that we'll want to go up here and open the website and we'll refresh the page because we want to see the latest results of course. You can see the main gallery image we selected earlier and the basic details of the listing including beds, baths, location, even price and basic terms. When you click on the title it opens to the listing details you see here. Down here is the property description we wrote up earlier. And if you're so inclined you can email this listing to a friend or you can even create a collection of favorite rental possibilities. Of course you can view the images as a photo gallery you can see the images we added here, and you'll notice the images are a good size. They're also available as a slideshow. So as you can see, our property management module is good looking, effective, and easy to use. Best of all, there are a myriad of ways you can configure it to suit your specific needs. Contact Savato today to find out how this module can be added to your website.